everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight, my husband and I are going to be trying some of the new things that Trader Joe's just recently got in, and I thought it would be fun to rate these items, and so I made these little cards for both of us. He has them too, and one of them says love it, the other says hate it, um, so that way we can kind of put up what we feel right away and discuss after after we try it. So um, I did want to insert just a short little clip on the very first taste test that we're going to be doing and that is going to be on this organic creamy cashew fiesta dip and this is a vegan dip for people that want to have like a queso cheese. All I did was scoop out about half of the container of the cheese dip into a saucepan. I heated it up on medium low stirring it consistently so that way it didn't burn on the bottom and got it to be a nice warm temperature. And then I poured it in this little yummy bowl that I have and now we're gonna go ahead and try it with some chips. So here is the queso dip that I just made on the stove top and I wanna try this first just so that it doesn't get too cold. I decided to use the Trader Joe's organic white corn tortilla chips with this just because these are the chips that are open in my pantry. So here goes nothing. Ready? Right. Right. I'll give you a couple chips so you can try. So are we gonna be comparing this to nacho cheese or are we gonna be just treating it as its own individual no, product? No, just try it how, just keep an open mind. Okay. Because it's vegan, so it's not going to be like nacho cheese. It's Yeah. So I'm not a vegetarian, so a lot of times when I have non-vegetarian yeah, foods, or like these vegetarian-specific foods that say, this is chicken or something, I, I make the mistake of comparing it to chicken, and then I give it a bad review because it's, it's like comparing it to something rather than letting it be its own thing. So I'm going to do the latter there. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I'm putting a hefty amount on my chip. So I can get the full flavor of this. All right, ready? Yeah. Here we go. I know how I'm reading this. One, two, three. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's good, you guys. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it has like a jalapeno flavor. It's super creamy. It really tastes like cheese. It's weird. That's, uh, that's, uh, you could compare that to real nacho cheese. I know, <laughs> I want another uh, one. That, that was actually good. really, this is so good. Way to go Trader Joe's making like a really delicious vegan alternative. Mmm. Awesome. I would never know that was just cashews. Yeah, it's so good. That's good. What's your favorite part of this dip? Um, I mean, I love nacho cheese. I mean, nacho cheese is like one of my favorite things. Might go really well with some of the uh, the, the soft pretzels that Trader Joe's has. I mean, I love those things. It's like my favorite. She said it like in so but many videos. But what do you videos. like about this cheese though? Well, I like that it would go really well for like dipping something like that. Okay, uh, but flavor-wise you... Flavor-wise it tastes just like nacho cheese. Yeah, there's, it does. There's no denying it. It has like that, it's, it's kind of trippy, right? That it's like yeah. so similar. Like I was expecting it to have at least like some very obvious differences, but really they nailed it. So the next thing that I want us to try is the cold pressed pineapple juice. And this is in the refrigerated section. This is brand new and I'm super excited to try this. It does separate, so make sure you shake it before. So I'll shake this and I'll pour it into our glasses. I'm like really excited for this one. I love pineapple juice. Who doesn't? I'm gonna it. give us a lot so that we can drink it as we taste everything. Hopefully it's good. Yeah. Okay, and this is 100% juice. There are 44 grams of sugar in this baby, so dang, but it's real sugar. It's from pineapple. All right, cheers. Cheers. One more time. <laughs> Ready to read it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Love it. 
obviously Tim and I have very similar taste buds, but it two for two. It's That's hard good. to hate things that Trader Trader Joe's puts out because they just have such good quality products and I mean I don't know. Hello Trader Joe's, sponsor me. <laughs> anyway, um this is a very, I will say, it is a very mild tasting pineapple juice. It's not like really tart or like extremely flavorful pineapple. It's a very mild taste, but it's, you can get that citrusy, like my mouth is kind of like still salivating from it. Um, I just think it's a, all around just a like easy drinking juice and it is kind of pricey, but I think you can make a pretty dang good uh, drink with this. What do you think? I think it's super smooth and yeah. it reminds me a lot of a Dole Whip float from Disneyland. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. That's just a good like that comparison. smooth, yeah. like the combination For between sure. like the, the pineapple ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. I like it. Cool. All right. Now we are moving on to sweets. Um, pretty much I have three things left to share with you guys and they're all sweet. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the cinnamon croissant loaf. And this is in the bread section. I am going to preface this tasting with the fact that this is $6. So I am going to take that into consideration when I try it. Like if it doesn't taste like it's $6 worth, I'm going to be not as satisfied. And I think that's how everybody shops. Like, you know, like if you're spending a lot of money on something, you expect the product to be yeah. phenomenal. Um, so if it's just like, eh, I'm going to say hate it, but it doesn't mean it's terrible. It just means compared to the price. So let's try it. It does smell amazing. Yeah, you can smell you it smell out of the, the black, yeah. The bag. So I'm just going to read you guys the description on here. Trader Joe's cinnamon croissant loaf is a fusion born of two favorites, croissants and cinnamon swirl bread. Buttery croissant dough is layered with cinnamon baked into a loaf pre-sliced for you and is ready for sublime toast French toast or a creative sandwich. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this just plain and dry. Um, it does feel pretty moist, but I think it would be better with some butter um, just to like soften it up a little bit more and heat it up, but I wanna give it a fair shot, so. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Ready to score? Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, you hate it. Um, hate's a strong word. I know. But it, it just, it tastes kind of plain. It's not anything really overwhelming. Something that you said, $5, $6 for, yeah. for, for a loaf of bread. Uh, I don't hate it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it. So the reason I love it is because one, it is super soft and moist. Like it's not dry at all. And I was expecting it to be dry, but once it's like, once you start chewing it, it's just really soft. Um, it is very mild in the cinnamon flavor, I will say, which I'm kind of okay with. Like, I, I definitely get that cinnamony um, flavor of it, but I think it's a good balance with the croissant. Um, I don't typically eat things like this, so I won't be buying it again, but if I loved croissants in the morning or, like, you know, just like a pastry, I definitely would buy this again. Um, and it does come in frozen, so you can refreeze it if you're not like down to eat the whole loaf in you know, a few days, which who is, that's a lot. But if you guys are having company, I think this would make phenomenal French toast too. Um, but yeah, I think it's, I can see the quality and why it's priced that way. There, It is a definitely a good quality bread for what you're paying for. Ready? Yeah. Okay, moving I mean, on. It's, it's very fluffy. That's the one thing I would say is good about it. It's fluffy, good bread. Yeah, but, it's very, it is fluffy. The flavor just wasn't there for me. Okay, so the thing that most of you guys have been waiting for and have been asking me to try is the new pancake bread. And I haven't tried this. A lot of my coworkers have. And I have gotten so many mixed reviews on this, so I have no idea what to expect. I've heard that it's amazing and I've heard it's just meh. So I'm, I'm excited to try it myself, but it is a twist on buttermilk short stack baked into a sweet moist loaf. So it should have like a pancake consistency. That's what I'm expecting. A pancakey consistency, maybe, maybe like a maple flavor. We will see. 
Mm. Mm. Let's see it. it. Smells good. Yeah, it does smell good. Here's what it looks like. I'm just gonna cut like a small sliver of this. Ooh, it's soft. I will say I'm definitely getting that maple-y scent after cutting it. Do you smell it? Yeah, I don't know about maple. You don't smell that? Mm -hmm. It definitely smells like maple to me, but okay, ready? Yeah. You ready to read it? Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Isn't it good? Yeah, it's good. Oh my gosh. I'm like shocked right now. I'm not a pancake person. Like I said, both of us do not eat sweets in the morning, but holy crap, give me a cup of coffee. I'm like ready to eat this loaf. It's it, it so tastes, good. It tastes like it's got syrup poured over it. Yes. It really And does. it's so moist. Oh my gosh. It's like packed with just... Ooh, it's good and it's not overly sweet. I will say it's not like you're not like oh my gosh I can't have like more than one bite like I think you could have a good slice of it and have your cup of coffee and totally enjoy it and Maybe even cut a little bit more because it is dang good <laughs> I don't think you got much of it, but I got the little like crumbly sugar on the top of it that has like packed with flavor It's really good. Really? Yeah, try it. Try it. Just piece right here. Okay. Oh, I see. Mmm. It's good, right? Yeah, it's really good. Oh my gosh, that's so good, you guys. Definitely, if you guys like pancakes, that bread is delicious. It reminds me of something, too, but... It... Pancakes? <laughs> no, it doesn't remind me of pancakes. It reminds me of something, like, that I've had. Maybe it'll come to me. I don't know, but... Anyways, definitely good. I don't hate anything so far. Big surprise. Um, the last thing I'm going to be trying are these new dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. And the great thing about these is that this is really awesome for people that have food allergies. So it is gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, tree nut-free, and peanut-free. So if you have any of those food allergies and you need to avoid them like this peanut butter cup pretty much is for everyone Tim loves peanut butter cups so he definitely will have a say on this one they look just like Reese's cups and I'm just gonna cut this in half because too many sweets sunflower butter in the middle and it looks pretty similar to a peanut butter cup so Ready? I don't. Mm. We gotta read it. Okay. All right. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> hate it. Will said, "Hate it." <laughs> okay. I want to say I don't really hate it. Like I'm not gonna throw this away. I will eat it, but it is. I like personally the dark peanut butter cups that Trader Joe sells, and I don't have any food allergies, so I can enjoy those, but. For those of you guys that do have food allergies, I think this is a great alternative. It's not bad. It just doesn't have the same impact that like peanut butter and chocolate has. And that's probably just what I'm used to eating. If I had to only eat these, I'd probably love these over peanut butter cups. But um, just compared to like what I'm used to and what my norm is, I would say these are just not like, they're not doing much for me. Yeah, it took the words right out of my mouth. It kind of tastes like you took a handful, a handful of sunflower seeds yeah. and chocolate chips and just took a bite out of them, um, like a big mouthful, uh, which isn't bad. I mean, if like you said, if, if I had an allergy and I couldn't have Reese's or, or something similar, the ones that Trader Joe's have, I think are better than Reese's, but mm -hmm. um, if I couldn't have the peanut butter chocolate combination, I would be happy to have those. Wouldn't be as good, but it's still, it's up there. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the love it or hate it dynamic is a little strong, but I think that this was very successful. I am most surprised about this cash 
to you dip. Like I am, Me too. I like love this. I'm definitely gonna be buying this again. Um, I think it's great that they're starting to include more people that have these um, diet dietary needs and stuff. So thank you Trader Joe's for putting out some awesome products recently. Um, this pancake bread, definitely buy it guys. I'm not kidding, it's like so good. So, what's your favorite? Uh, well, if I had to pick, I'm gonna pick two. My favorite non-sweet, cause there's sweets and non-sweet. So, favorite non-sweet is definitely this cashew dip. It like totally blew my mind. And then my next favorite would be the pancake bread, just because it is, I just like that it's so subtly sweet. And like some of you guys that don't like sweets or don't eat very many sweets might think that's like extremely sweet. Um, but those of you that really like sweets, you might be disappointed that it's not sweet enough. And that is exactly the type of review I was getting by all my coworkers. Everybody was saying it's either too sweet or not sweet enough. I hope you guys enjoy this little taste test and the fun spin with the love it or hate it cards. Um, we definitely had a great time filming this. Yes. Yeah, because <laughs> eating is one of our favorite things to do. So please give this video a thumbs up if you are going to try something here or if you've already tried it and you love it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.